if you're new here my name is liberty love if you're not welcome back to my channel i feel like it's been so long since i've done like a video talking to you guys i've actually missed you strange i've actually missed you guys but hi i lost my phone and i had loads of vlogs on it for my holiday and it's all gone maybe possibility of me getting back maybe probably most likely not so i thought i'd give you guys what you guys love which is a vlog and I, I don't even go out that much anymore to vlog my life but i'll give you like a weekend vlog so it's friday i just finished work and i just took a shower and i'm going to party i already picked my outfit i will show you it it's banging my theme was like y2k when is it not but i've already worn this outfit but i wasn't feeling myself and i just feel like i will feel myself today hopefully let's not jinx it but yeah i also changed my makeup routine so i'm going to show you guys that today first i think i'm going to start with my hair and then i'm going to do makeup and then i'll get dressed so let's get into it so i got my hair done and because i didn't have a phone i lost my phone if i said that i lost my phone and i got a new phone do i look different like does the quality look better but i had this hairstyle i didn't get any pics in it so tonight i hope i get some photos in it because i want to take it out now i just do but it's all right still so all i've got to do is my edges and then just clean that up and put on my headscarf do you know how upset i was that i couldn't post a youtube video like i actually like you guys i hope you like me Ta -da. with braids i always try and make my edges like connect to the braid so it doesn't just look like it's sticking out do you know what i mean and when it's bumpy, I just do it again and again until it's not perfect shot. So I'm in a good mood today because I got a pay raise. Go Libby. It's not even just me, but I'm happy about that. And I got a new phone, but because I lost my number, it's not letting me like log into anything. So I can't even log into like TikTok and TikTok is the only app I use because I have no friends. I can't log into my Snapchat. And I, like, I don't have any friends on my new Snapchat. So it's like, there's nothing for me to do on this phone, really. I don't even have a camera roll because I forgot my password to my iCloud. How does one forget their password to their iCloud? These are the edges. And then I'm just going to cut that piece because it's pissing me off. Look. Now it looks all neat. But separately, like, little life update. I feel like I've kind of gone through... I wouldn't even say... A spiritual awakening i feel like i went through a spiritual awakening like two years ago i feel like i'm going through like a humbling i don't know i don't know if that's possible but like i'm pretty humble but like i don't know i, I feel like my life's just been put in perspective more and i'm not that sad about it like i was saying to other, someone the other day like i'm comfortable in my depression they're saying that's bad that's bad and i was like no it's not in this world, I feel like we're so focused on being happy that it just makes us sad. Like, sadness is an okay emotion. Like, everyone acts like it's a negative emotion. It's not that bad. Once you become comfortable in it, it's not that bad. But I don't know if that's bad advice. Like, should I be telling you guys that? I don't know. But that is my like, little spiritual fucking awakening. I'm happy being sad. Or not even I'm happy being sad because I'm not even sad right now. But I'm okay with not being happy. I feel like there's such a pressure to always be happy, always be healthy, always be healed. Why? Because it makes you feel better. But like I feel like there's just so much pressure on that and it just overstresses it and takes away from the whole point. That is like my little like awakening. I don't know if that's valid or what, but yeah and i've also kind of stopped wearing eyelashes should i wear eyelashes or not today i'm not going to because that's not part of my new makeup routine i want not to so i just did my normal moisturizer i used this um cerave pm lotion i'm gonna put a little bit of oil not too much because i'm doing my makeup okay i'm gonna get changed into my outfit while my face sets also I got sent this wig, like a ginger wig. I've been saying I want to be ginger for so long and I just got sent a ginger wig. So, 
oh my god that's gonna look so cute my mom said it won't look cute no my dad said that but i th i think it's given i think i can pull that off an outfit i'm wearing i'm wearing my tit for tats set my custom set tit for tats um let me put that on now okay so this is the vibe it's like giving ah oh whoa it's given like different it's given fucking different so let's get started on my makeup basically i have wanted to wear less makeup because i feel like when i do my full face you can't really see my natural face i guess so it's kind of like the same thing but i'm just applying less makeup so i'm gonna do my brows but i'm literally just gonna fill in the ends and that's it and like put a little bit of product in the front but that's it all the same product still anastasia brow pomade i feel like getting a new phone like improved my eyesight like why am i looking at my face and i just look 4k literally like that like just extent what is it called just accentuating i think that's the word my natural brow shape just by the end just like that and then i'm gonna start with the concealer that's my same color of my skin and i'm using that as like a foundation i'm gonna take this off as well so i can get all corners on my little face medium beige la girl pro concealer and I'm just putting this over any insecurities, any spots. And I'm really upset because I took like loads of portfolio stuff and I've lost it all. I really hope that with this phone number, I can get back my iCloud. Because my photos are the thing I'm most upset about. Like all my Mexico photos. And I can't even log into my Snap, so it's like I have no memories. And the thing with me is like, my phone is how I remember things. My memory is so bad. If I lose my phone... I'm literally going to forget everything that I've been through. But that could be that could be a good thing. That's what my mom said, like, a new start. I was like, kind of, but, like, I have a banging YouTube video. Now I'm going to use the little brush and just conceal my brows. But instead of doing the whole brow like I used to do, I just do the ends and, like, the front, but not the front of here to make it look, I don't know, more natural. I don't know like so but to be honest i'll be like so honest with you guys i am blessed with my eyebrow shape so if you're not blessed like me like <laughs> i'm not gonna lie like you might have to conceal the front just to make it look a bit cleaner because that's all concealing your brow does when i was younger and i used to like just do my eyebrows without concealing fucking hell they look like shit conceal 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 it's not even conceal carve that's what it's called carving your brows but don't do it too much because then like your face will look white do you know what i mean i like putting it on top of my eyelid though because it makes this bit of my eye look darker than it looks like eyeshadow and i really fuck with it i'm still a little bitch for a brush brushes are the way to go so i consider this my base like my first base now we're gonna do contouring it's basically the same thing i think it's exactly the same thing cheekbones i'm using cream contour from fenty beauty and then nose contour like even though i'm being a natural babe like i will always contour my nose because i effing hate my nose and it's just so big Ugh, just get in there honestly Ugh. also i'm gonna put a bit on my eyelid this isn't like every day for me but i'm going out so it's like an eyeshadow like a natural little eyeshadow blending upwards so my face doesn't look like dragged down now i'm gonna do cream blush because you have to do all the creams at once like you have to do all your liquid makeup before you do your powder because you can't do liquid after powder if that makes sense i don't know if that made sense so i'm using hula bronzer and this brush from morphe again just like that and then i'm also gonna outline my lips in this and this is how i make my lips look a lot bigger because it's like an illusion like it's it's some mad illusion wait i'll show you and literally do you see like that line above my lip that's where i'm putting the bronzer like don't go over that like just on that little like clear line i don't know if you see that and then i do the whole of my top lip and then i do only the middle to make it kind of look like I have a 
bigger top lip i don't know i just like how that looks just like that i don't know personally i feel like my lips look bigger but now i'm just gonna blend out my nose again with the same brush oh my god guys wait i'm actually pissed i couldn't wear this today let's put it on let's just put it on fuck it i feel like it's gonna give i feel like it's gonna give i feel like it's gonna give Feel like it's gonna give personally maybe like side parting waves i don't know i really like this <gasps> i want to be a ginger so when my nose is looking all brown i'm then gonna conceal and what i'm gonna do i'm just mixing these two together so it's not too light and not too dark this one's like one shade lighter and this is my shade this is Too faced concealer literally just carving it out like that just the sides I'm just making it as small as I want my little nose to be. This step's so important, more important than the contour because you can contour it however you like and it then you can fix it with the concealer. But this, like, you can't fuck up. I'm just blending this with the Wet Beauty Blender. I also put some under my eyes because I have fat bags. I have fat bags. As I said, this concealing bit is really important. So for important things, I use my little brush just so I can get in every little corner and make sure it's really blended. The tip for like natural looking makeup is brushes and just making sure it's blended. As long as it's blended, no one will even be able to tell you're wearing makeup, I promise you. So after I've done that, I'm gonna use Porcelain from LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm gonna do the little exclamation mark I do on my nose. I use a whiter shade because it acts as if like, like this is where I put my highlight and it just makes you look like you've got a cute little button nose and bro, when I was on holiday, I kept doing Angela's nose contour and she said it's like life changing. So I swear to God, listen to my nose contour tips. I am a pro. So yeah, I just put it like this and then I'm gonna blend with my finger to make sure it's really accurate. If I blend this with a beauty blender, it's just gonna get everywhere. But the point with nose highlight is you kind of wanna leave it a tiny bit unblended so it looks so there's a change in your actual facial shape but it has to be like the perfect amount so that you don't look dumb like those tiktok girls but you look like cute do you see it's coming together now i'm just gonna bake and it will like be perfect but this is like the end nose contour it's looking good in my opinion now blush before i bake I used the Milani blush in shade Lumi Luminoso. And when I tell you, it's the best fucking blush ever. I got it from Morphe. <sighs> All my makeup, well, most of my makeup I got in my Morphe haul. If you want to watch that, I give like the details. But I love this blush because it has like a little glitter in it. So I like putting it like on my cheekbone and it looks like highlight. But to be fair, I like putting blush everywhere. I put it on my nose. Like, so it looks like I have a, I don't know, a rosy face. Next, baking. Anastasia Beverly Hills Vanilla Powder. If you're a bit darker than me, use like a banana color, but I'm using like a white. Now, when I used to do my makeup, I used to use this everywhere, but all honesty, you don't need it. You just need this for like places you want to transform. So I wanna transform my nose, so I'm gonna use this. I'm just doing the same thing I did with the concealer and I'm just carving out my nose in the places I put the concealer. Make sure this step is like really precise because this will be how your nose is shaped after you wipe it off. And I'm also gonna put some under my cheekbones because I really like, I don't know, I like it looking like I have a line. For the rest of my face where I would usually bake, I'm using Milani again from Morphe. This is in color nude and it's more like my actual skin color. So when I take photos, I'm not going to be white everywhere. I'm just going to pat that on under my eyes, my forehead and my chin. But yeah, this is like our base done. Okay, I just had a little food break because I was hungry. But now I'm going to gel my brows up using the same brow gel as always. This one from Estee Lauder. I don't know how to pronounce it still. If you don't have brow gel, you can literally just use normal gel and a, like a little brush. Okay, now we're going to start on eyeliner. So basically, my logic behind the eyeliner is that the black eyeliner just looks too thick and 
you can't do black eyeliner without lashes if you know what i mean so i do brown liner now because i'm a natural babe but i just think it looks a bit like i don't know it looks more effortless and it just makes your eyes look naturally like cat eye so i'm using morphe palette the middle shade of brown and i'm literally just gonna create a wing like that and it is personally giving for me to that i'm just gonna apply it to the outside corners of my bottom lashes and also with brown liner it makes your eyelashes look more naturally full so that's why when i'm just doing my mascara i like using brown liner so that's my eyeliner done i feel like it accentuates my natural eye color and it's just really cute now i'm just gonna line my lips using my pretty little thing lip liner so that's my lips and my eyes now we're gonna do lashes let's brush off this powder why am i using two different brushes lord knows i don't even know i don't even i couldn't even answer that to you but now i'm using my kylie blush in an orange because i like the way it complements my skin by the way i'm doing my base before i do my eyelashes because when i spray my setting spray it like pushes my lashes down from after they've been lifted so i'm gonna do my base and then i'm gonna do my lashes and you really want to soak it this setting spray is the best setting spray is the key for non-cakey makeup remember that ladies wait 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 sorry sorry i'm on a new phone and just look at the setting spray on my skin i don't know it's like oh did you just see how yellow my teeth were this is like some cinematic feature oh my god oh my god ah! okay so i just put my got to be and my headscarf on now it's time for highlight so i just use all of these mixed together if you were a bit darker you'd use this if you're a bit lighter you use the lighter one i like I, i've been using eyeshadow because I feel like it stays on better than other products but yeah i just put that on my cheeks under my brow and on my nose i feel like highlight is such the such an important part for nose contour because it really just gives it that cute little button look and then i put some on my collarbones as you know i love my collarbones and then I'm using my matte setting spray just so my face is all really tucked in there. Show my love for you. Can I show my love for you? Okay, anyway, I had like a little moment there. I use my eyelash color from Morphe and I use a lighter and I just like warm it up. And it's like the same logic as when you curl your hair or oh, straighten your hair, you use heat. So when I'm curling my lashes, I'm gonna use heat and it will work better. The blackest mascara I have is this one and it's really nice. It's from Morphe. This is my eyelashes before curling them. And then I'm just gonna use the heated eyelash curler and do that now. Cause like, look how my eyelashes are giving without them even being curled. I fucking love my eyelashes. I love them, I'm so proud of them. Oh my God. I painted my natural nails. I can't do anything else because of work. But remember how I bit them all off because I was stressed and depressed? They're all grown back. So I mean, that's good. And this is my eyelashes curled. Is it not given? I'm going to like curl them one more time just to make sure they stay. But this is them. These are my natural lashes like why are they going up there they are so long purr this is like my finished makeup look let's put some lip gloss on so yeah i don't think i'm gonna be wearing falsies anymore maybe like on my birthday this is the finished makeup look this is how i've been doing my makeup a bit more of a natural babe Let, let's do it in that cin cinematic thing let's do it let's do it this is my makeup i think it looks good if it looks shit, I'm not putting this in. But if it's in, that means it looks good. Yeah. Why are my eyelashes giving so much? Should I show you the outfit now? Let's show you the outfit. And this is the fit. Girls, my girls, I'm fine. 
This song is actually bad because he shouldn't be sexualizing lesbians. Fit, fit, fit. It's giving expensive, it's giving bougie. It's giving me life. The belly ring is giving, it's giving. Okay, just another fit check because I'm fucking in love with this outfit tonight. Y'all, this is being filmed in cinematic. That's why I look like 3D and fuck. But I'm gonna take some Insta photos, like mirror selfies. I feel like a mirror selfie would just fucking kill right now. So what's new? I'm late. Um, I'm like really, 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 really late, but I'm in Shoreditch. Um, I tried to get a cab, but then because I don't have a phone number, because I lost my phone and my SIM, it was just really complicated. I couldn't get a cab. I was planning on getting a cab. So now I'm here in Shoreditch, walking. Oh, I'm almost here though. I'm apparently right around the corner, so that's it. Yeah, call, call me. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter now, I can hear you. Well done. Really I'm not really that interested in my family that much, my father, but uh, 13. You know what, fuck it, what should I put on my Google Pixel? Shush, bruv, you're not drawing. Oh. Oh. So I have no clue where I am. Um, I don't have 4G, so I can't check maps. So I've been having to ask bus drivers how to get home. Basically what just happened was I was supposed to go to an event. I missed it completely because I was late. Um, so we went to a party instead and it was completely like out of my comfort zone. That's a lie. It was completely something I haven't done before and it was really fun. I'm actually not drunk at all. I'm completely sober. And I just want to get home and get to bed and take a shower. And then tomorrow I'm meeting Lucia and Kat. So I'm going to try get home now. I'm going to try get home and then I'm going to talk to you guys when I get home. Let's see if I get home. Praise the Lord. Good morning, people. Um, it's like 10 o'clock. I got waking up early because my sister came over with my nephew. You can see by my bags. But I'm taking out my hair now. And then I'm going to that sushi place in Chelsea. I just cut off bare of my hair. I just cut off so much of my hair. okay guys i was just setting up my phone my sim card came so i'm back and everything so the vlogs are gonna be back for you guys look who it is like look how guys the miss american miss american queen is back from america oh, wait no i look arab so you are you're beautiful and um yeah we're going we missed our appointment because i was late no you missed our appointment you walked I away from it ho she walked away from our table who walks away from our table because i'm not gonna sit there like anyway a we're in beautiful chelsea we're admiring the city yeah show them that house it's a nice house, That's gonna be me and house no we said we're living 
in those apartments together. Oh yeah, I forgot. The ones in like, what's it called again? I don't even know. No, you told me. Sexy fish area. Anyway. No, not Mayfair. Actually, I wouldn't mind living on Hyde Park Corner. Guys, there's this like apartment on Hyde Park Corner. I, I could not live called. there. That's too, that's no, too it, public. No, no, it's like, I don't remember what it was called. But like every, the cheapest apartment is like fucking, oh, our table's ready. Oh, fuck Ew. off, bro. What do you mean our table's ready? You know Should we just go somewhere else? Yeah, we're just going to go to <laughs> So, guys, I just wanted to show you my cute ass outfit. Look at me, look at me. Look at the Chelsea girl vibes. You can never. Look at my toes. Look at my toes. Look at that. Oh, okay, don't get. But yeah, it's like that. Yeah, it's like so 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 we're thinking about like, doing my crafts tomorrow. Yeah. Baby squid. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I not so smart for that? Is that not the smartest thing you've ever seen? Because we're little Instagram girls. Like that. Okay guys, I got home. No, I didn't just get home. I got home a while ago. But for some reason I'm still up. Anyway, I had a good day today. Um I'm gonna go to bed now. It is Yesterday, I did this as well. I went to bed at like 6am. I don't know why I'm doing that when I have to get up for work at 6am. But I have a day off tomorrow, so tomorrow I'm just going to sleep in. And... <laughs> and maybe go for a walk. I don't know. I need to do my nails, but I don't want to pay for them. So I'm going to paint them myself. Anyway, yeah. Good night. Or... Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, good morning. Good morning. My mother just made me porridge. Oh, oh. and now I'm going to out to sit in the sun. So I just got washed and showered. I look like ass because I went to bed really late and I woke up really early, but today I'm having a chill day. Um, I might go gym, but I don't know. I got this sandwich. Let me show you how banging it is. I'm going to put you on. Okay, so this is the sandwich. The sun-dried tomatoes, but I took them out. It's so good. Today is this cute little pink tracksuit from E-M-M-I-O-L a little jewelry this is a brand new single from Conqueror featuring Roman v Romain Virgo and I think the weekly vlog needs to hear about this story <laughs> Talila no. <laughs> Talila just made friends with random strangers and they were asking they her who she you. picked they literally approached you for you and that was I'm so, I'm too high for this. We got munchies. Cinnabons. Can I sell that? The big bag. Luckily, it doesn't look as Cinnabons. Look at the beautiful little munch. Aww. It's a nice little sunny day. Got a chicken wing. Life's good. Life's good, man. These cinnamon buns are so good. 
Mm. Mm. Good morning, guys. Um, I was so tired. I fell asleep last night, like before I could even speak to you. I basically just had really good munch and like a little chilling day. Me and Tallulah plan to go to Amsterdam and I love planning holidays, but I don't know if she's going to follow through. She better. I hope. I hope she does. This morning, I had my first 11 hours sleep in so long, so I'm happy about that. I had to call the tax people. I sorted out my taxes. Um, I had to call the bank. I couldn't sort out the bank. I lost so much money. Mm. I've lost so much money, but money is always made back, so we can't complain. Now, I've today, I think I'm going to go gym. I haven't been gym in so long, and I think I want to go gym. I need to go to the hair shop. And I think I'm going to go get breakfast with my dad. So yeah, cute little day. I'm putting you guys on. This smoothie is so fucking good. Mm. So I'm here, it started raining and they didn't even have the stuff I needed in the hair shop. Oh my God, I look so ass. I look so ass. I'm gonna go home, it's fucking raining and I'm fucking freezing. And I don't know, if it's just me, when I'm cold, I can't focus. Oh my God, I look like ass. I can't focus on anything other than being cold. Like when it's cold, I was just sitting here like, like, like this, like I just sit there like, and I was like, okay, you're not cold, you're not cold. And it's like, the coldness, I hate the cold. I think I keep my nails a bit. I hate the cold, guys. So, I'm here, I'm gonna get the bus home, and then I will get ready for the gym. And I'll see you guys there. This is my cat, Casper. He's so cute. He doesn't care about anything in this world. I've gotten Nando's frozen yogurt and it's all squirted on me. Yeah, I'm vlogging. Yogurt number two. Ow. So, this is Mummy Libby. <laughs> Don't be about to swear. We can't swear in front of the baby. Zane, we're now PG. Parental guidance. You think you're gonna make your vlog? Yeah, man. <laughs> Zane, you're gonna be famous. Oh my god, he's fucking out. He's backing out. <laughs> <laughs> Muy bien, no. I love Brazilian food now. It's very good. Did you like the meal? It's excellent. Obrigado. Okay, y'all. So it's like nine o'clock. I need to go to bed early because I've got work very early. But yeah, that was like my little weekend. Tell me what you think. Comment down below. Like and comment. Um, I enjoy doing these type of videos. So if you like them, I'll do more for you. Have a nice night. <laughs>